Now go into a photo. You can see all of the photo is back. And if you check my iPhone, it is on iOS 15.5. Uh, as you can see right there. Today I would like to show you how to downgrade back from iOS 13 and downgrade back to 15.5. Uh, I know that many of you have encountered like issues, glitch uh, on uh, iOS 13 beta. Now we cannot downgrade back uh, without losing any data. Uh, I have the iPhone 11 right here. I did upgrade my iPhone 11 to iOS 13 and you can see some photo here and apps but we can uh, preserve all of those after the downgrade. Previously, I did a video about this as well, but with this one, we're gonna use uh, one more simple software. Now you need to plug in your phone into your PC. After that, you need to download a software called Reiboot. Uh, with this one, it is free. It has many functions, but some functions you need to purchase. Uh, you can also grab the coupon to get discount uh, with uh, Reiboot. Uh, I put it. I put my coupon in my description and my comment section and after you download and install uh, you need to go ahead and go into uh, iTunes uh, we need to back up the file first before we downgrade so after that after we back up we restore and then we can uh, restore the backup file back from here it is very simple just go ahead and click on your device and then you're gonna see this backup button just click on it it is going to back up the file on your iPhone uh, like it may take some time depending on the data on your device. Let's say you have many apps, many uh, bigger games. It, it gonna take a while to back up those files. But for me, it is going to be faster because uh, I have like only few photos and uh, apps. Now uh, you can see it has been um, it almost done, and uh, now it has been done. So we're gonna go ahead and close iTunes. And then we can go back into uh, Re-I Boot. Uh, here is uh, an interface of the software itself. So now you're gonna go ahead and click on Start. And from Start, you're gonna find a Standard Repair and Deep Repair. Uh, this one we're gonna go into Deep Repair because um, it's much better and easier. And one more thing, it it like it gonna remind you that it is going to lose all of data. But don't worry because we have already backup and then we can restore later on. So now uh, let me click on the repair. From here, I think for you uh, for easier, you you may need to download by using the but this button. It gonna download an IPSW a software to downgrade. But for me, I have already downloaded. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna import like from my PC. So here is the IPSW file and now it is verified. All I have to do is just go ahead and click on start deep repair right here. I'll click on repair and then it may take a while. Within this process, you can exactly see the estimating times and uh, the time remaining for the uh, downgrade process. Uh, you can see it is about 10 minutes on my iPhone, uh, on my PC. Uh, with this one, it requires uh, like uh, depend on how you, how your PC perform and how your phone. So um, like it may take about 10 minutes or so. Don't worry. And now the process has been completed, but uh, with this one, it uh, it will like the data will be erased, but we're gonna restore later on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my device. Uh, it may take a while. I'm gonna speed up this one so you don't have to wait. And now, now it has been downgraded back to 15.5. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it is 15.5, and now it's time to restore the data back. So, uh, so we can, now we can like uh, close uh, re boot. Now you need to press on Windows or and then you're gonna find this one um, uh, percentage user profile, and you can you can type exactly as I type here. Now click on OK. Then it's gonna pop up a new like. Um, a new uh, window then go into app data from app data go to rooming and then you're gonna find Apple computer and after that you're gonna find mobile sync uh, go into backup and you have uh, the backup file here that you have just uh, backup before and after that scroll all the way down you're gonna find info.place just open it in a new notepad 
then we're gonna edit the file because uh, this one we back up on ios settings so if you don't modify the backup file it is going to be error uh, while you while you restore the data back so that's why we need to do it so now you need to find an ios version so let me find and then after you scroll up a little bit you're gonna find this one so you can see ios settings just go ahead and remove number six and put number five back and then we're gonna save this backup file now open uh, close this one open itunes so you're gonna see a uh, this so do not set up as a new iphone because it may take a while just go ahead and select on uh, restore from backup file and we have only one backup file here that we have just backed up uh, before the downgrade so now click on continue and now it is going to restore the data back like you can see here the restore is in progress um, so you can wait for this one it may take a while and now click on continue uh, for the face id password we can set up later on uh, you don't need to do this at this time so click on don't say a swipe up now you can see we have two apps that like we back up and now it appear again uh, for the password uh, for the app uh, in order to get it to download you need to enter your apple id passcode but i'm not gonna put it right now just to show you now go into a photo you can see all of the photo is back and if you check my iphone it is on ios 15.5 uh, you can see right there thank you for watching i hope this process will help you and then we'll see you guys in the next one